Hey y'all, my name is Taylor. I'm a therapist and I work at HeartSport and I love hardcore music. So let's react to some brand new music from Off-Road Minivan, talk about the lyrics, how they relate to mental health, and hopefully give you tips and tricks for how you can improve your life. Let's do it. This is Basement. It's a single off of Off-Road Minivan's newest album that drops today. Okay, so let's listen. Okay, hear me out. It kind of sounds like Christmas. I don't know. That song literally made me tear up. I'm gonna cry, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Okay, let's talk about it. This song is such a beautiful tribute to grief in my mind, like, and to loss and to loving someone that you lost. And, ugh, these lyrics are gonna be so good. Okay, there goes your mind again. How's it feel to lose another friend? Something that I notice with my clients and with myself is that grief begets grief. So when we lose someone and then we lose someone else, we often are grieving the second person we lost, but there's still tinges and texture of the first. 
So often the more people you lose, you start to grieve them all with every subsequent loss, which can be really challenging because grief doesn't just go away. And that's a common misconception. It's like, oh, like I'm over it. Grief doesn't just go away. It changes shape and texture and colors and size, but it's something that is always there in a lot of ways, in beautiful ways as well, because grief can be really transformative. But I say this to say that it's really important that when we lose someone or something that's important to us, that we take the time to fully grieve it. Because if we don't, the next loss that we feel will feel even more painful and destructive and difficult to get over. So grieving completely and allowing ourselves to feel the grief is a way to protect that grief from bleeding so much into the next grief. I believe that it will always, grief brings up old grief. Loss brings up old loss. And often the more we lose, the more stories we create about why we are losing things. For example, let's say that you lost a friend to suicide and you felt like you weren't really there for them in the way that you wish that you would have been and you blame yourself. And then you lose a relationship and you really didn't want this relationship to end. The feeling of not being good enough for your friend might be reignited by the loss of this relationship. The grief created a story about who you are, and then the next loss can reinforce that story. And that's why it's really important to be aware of the stories that we tell ourselves because of loss and to process and work through them as they are happening so that we can try to, as much as possible, separate grief from each other so that it doesn't grow into an all-consuming kind of monster. Okay, I've been sitting in your basement with the demons you've been chasing. This one, it feels really personal to me and it's the reason I'm a therapist and it's something I see in my clients as well is that grief often ignites purpose. And I'll give you a personal example. I lost my best friend to suicide almost 10 years ago. And he had a lot of struggles, a lot of mental health struggles, struggles with addiction, struggles with family, divorce, pain, abuse, self-harm. And when he passed away, I had a wake up call about these demons and this pain that he was in and that he was facing alone and losing him ignited purpose in me. And it's why I work at Heart Support. It's why I'm a therapist. It's why I do what I do because I don't want anyone else to lose their best friend. And I want to honor him and his memory by helping people that he was like and by loving people the way that he loved me. And I think that sometimes when we lose someone, we find ourselves sitting with their pain and their demons and it can either feel really suffocating or really empowering and often it feels like both at the same time. It feels really hard. And it gives us a different perspective on purpose. Grief is such a powerful perspective shifter, such a powerful purpose igniter, if we allow it to be. And that doesn't have to happen right away, right? It, there is a time and a space to just completely grieve and go through the process of feeling and the loss. And then if we want to, we can allow our grief to shift into something different. And that is something that I've witnessed 
being an incredibly powerful tool, not just for individuals to heal, but to help the world heal. So many people have used loss as the catalyst for change in the world, in their own lives. And I think it's such a beautiful way to complete the grieving process and to add beauty to the world and honor to the people that we've lost. This chunk, back when we played Chad and Fast, Macaulay Calkins' voice had said, the line department sent us in, there's castles in the sky again, tell me about the cruiser Barry. I hear that as like a conversation between this person and the person that they had lost. And actually, that's a really beautiful technique to help with grief. If you have lost someone, whether it is a physical loss, an emotional loss, whatever kind of loss it is, there is space to have a conversation. And I invite my clients to do this in a couple of ways, whatever feels good to them. I often will have them pretend to hold a conversation, pretend that they're sitting next to them. That doesn't feel comfortable or they don't want to do that. I often will have them write a letter to this person sharing their feelings. And in the letter, I ask them to include three things. I thank you for, I'm sorry for, I forgive you for. And of course, you can include more than that. But those three things are really big themes that come up in grief of like, I never got to say I was sorry for this. I never got to thank them for this. I never got to forgive them for this. And it can be really helpful to write a letter to this person, including those three themes, is a really helpful way to work through some of the grief. I love this song. I think it is so beautiful. And it really made me feel really emotional. And ugh. I just loved it. So thank you so much, Off-Road Mini Fan. If any of you are struggling with anything, but especially grief, if you feel like you've lost something or maybe you feel like you've lost a piece of yourself, share in the comments about what you're thinking and feeling and tag out heart support and we will reply to every single comment with support. You don't have to do this alone. I love you. Thank you. Have a good day.